Here's Fringilla. Uh, where's the exit? Oh wait, it's down here. you went to fetch greetings bells in we've a message for you from the boss message what kind of message mr cleaver's very unhappy uh, now just a minute I if any discrepancies have cropped up in the books i can explain everything too late grab him and you two get lost no 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 we can't do that he's a friend he was lovely to talk to Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, pop to it, lads. Haven't you got all day? Damn the horse, sons! Get out, pal. Seems to me. Thanks. <laughs> oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. <laughs> got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Can we send him to Care Morn? Oh. Ah, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir. You walk him to Vet's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, shit! Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh. If you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort. But I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by her house when I get a chance. So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shite load of coin for them. Let's go. Um, but hold on, I'm a potential buyer. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So uh, buyer, hold on. Who is he, Zoltan? Get out. Nice talking to you. Well, well. Pauper with a library. Imagine that. Vile times when beggars put letters together. Found their <laughs> Ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome. Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards getting away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse and I'll tend to the others. Yeah. 
Pulled it off that way. All for knocking those out. What? Can't understand a word. Might as well stop. Typical, it's slow. Well, let's go this way then. No, he's bleeding. Leave me, sviving drowners. You could use a witcher. Ha ha! Highly amusing. If, if I give you the coin, will you leave me be? No. Rather make sure this was our last meeting. So, you get him? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? Mm hmm. Ah, oh, that's grand. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Yeah, I'll take the cards. Kinda curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. I only think we can use one. Jonathalis. Yeah, only one. Well, better than nothing. Now we are going for. Um... That one. Cheap whores and watered down wine. Hey, I can't control what I inherit. But you can control what you do with it. I know. I Fuck. Know, which wait, is wait. exactly why I'm considering. Is he making this into a strip club? You're always are considering. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster in this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and ekama jigs, maybe you can help a little friend out. How can I help you? 
I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You know, I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What does this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Oh, the Reapers come for me. What? They never given me nothing but floppy diddly. If you don't know how to give, you can't receive. Let's go and grab, grab that then. <sighs> What's he schemed up this time? Oh, Perhaps you can talk some sense into him. Yeah, don't worry, I'm on it. Don't you worry. You get it done. Need to borrow one of your props, one of the swords you use for stage battles. My, whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh yes, I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. The dust it should be fine now. Come on! Is it planning to make a break? In? Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes, if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant. But any kind of plan is better than none. 
written your lines already. You've Wait, written what? what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here. You didn't Andrew mention it. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But well, no time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. But I don't know my lines. Do I get I didn't get time to read my lines. Stop right there. Not your lucky day, miss. Hand me your purse, now. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Look at his face, Colby. Though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. More like the Crimson Asshole. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Dandelion! Unguard. I mean, Crimson uh, 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 You're better than I thought. <laughs> it's, it's awful. Gone. What are you for? Dandelion. I mean, Crimson Avenger. I'm regening. You oh, have the to. Crimson go. Avenger triumphs again. My hair. Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. Come inside. I shall bandage you up. Be gone, vile bandit, or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless! Well, I think we did good. He could just have, he, he could just have loaned it from me. Tamaria. What's he doing here? Look awfully suspicious to me. Trap, what village are you from? Willows. It's in Tamaria, two guys wrote for the Zima. Oh, man, Newman left me a gift last your hair lately? What? It's a material. Yeah, Give me well, nothing but floppy no. diddly. See in the morning. Like that. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today, so we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peach. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Choices. Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrive. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion is. Gabriel, you've known him longer. Say something. Uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, we could just make her decide. It would probably be the best, I suppose.
appeared. And I, I, I don't know. I didn't say that. Probably the... Yeah, maybe this. depend which one looks better no she decided sure I've known him longer but he's never so much as changed his socks for me I'm commissioning a full-blown renovation. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. Mm. Both our lives have revolved around the stage. And Cabaret's a form of theatre, in a way. Fine. Let's do the theatre decor. I certainly hope it'll be to his liking. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. You'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. that a life enjoyed is a life well lived. You needn't mock. I'm not. I mean that. Nothing wrong with the principle. Dandelion just knows how to enjoy life. It's a good thing. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time. And he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble yeah, not again it's possible with dandelion let me see if I can't find him and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Ho ho hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. Yeah, how do you know about that? How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio... You'd visit her? Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary in Time. They worked on the dance numbers I, I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. 
The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter and start looking. All right. Fine. Let's find the key. Not here. Find anything? Ah, the key. Get out of my ass! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the f She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass! Shut off, or I'll split your skull! My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right, talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt. But its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. He's not done. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Hmm. Oh. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, you handled that very professionally. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Oh, yes. Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Portside it is. Flap a new rise, take your bigger rack. What's the hurry, Marjorie? Wanna fight me, Marjorie? Got a twin to be back again! Ooh. Ramen supper, I never refuse. Yeah, eh, no. I'll fuck that right. Ah. 
Oh, great. Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding times first come, first served. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! You'll regret this mutant. You'll never learn. Not very good, we can't uh, can't heal up. to be cornered. Close. Tell me what you want. Damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here. And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal butter state. Losing his last crowns at the races. See, wasn't that easy? Could have said so right away. He's at the races. And we need the fast travel there. Blackmail me. Oh! This city is an hour. I serve the eternal fire. Last chance to surrender on Orthodox Bogus. Great irreverent. We are coming close. Don't be sure. Wondering if I could take part in the races. If you've coin for the rider's fee and a steed of your own, why not? Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. I want a race. Grand, your name and the name of your steed. Geralt of Rivia, on Roach. Excellent. Your opponent, let me see. Seamus Holt astride Athos. Competitors, saddle up! On three! One, two, three! That's it, Roach. Off you go! We are decently geared. Hopefully, it won't be a problem. You can try 
try to win them all, but you won't. <laughs> The Erasmus Begobart Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach Glory to the victor. Not bad, yet we shouldn't kid ourselves. The competition was hardly stiff. Shall I sign you up for another? Uh, yes. Like to race again. Excellent. Don't go anywhere. We'll start soon. Your opponent this time, Viscount Roma Astride Caniculus. The Viscount races incognito, so I must ask for your discretion. Competitors, saddle up! On three! One! Two! Three! Off you go! It's a different track, no? Much bigger. That should be enough stamina. Hear ye, hear ye. The final of the Erasmus Begobart Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach Glory to the victor. Bravo, congratulations, you won in style. Shall I sign you up for another? I'll try again. Gained an appetite, have we? Your opponent this time, Luke Vagelbart, young Lord Albert's cousin, atop Succubus. He's the black sheep of the family, but he's not lost a race yet, so he's seen as something of a local champion. Competitors, saddle up! On three, one, two, three, off you go! Oh no, someone used road in your way? Oh, what a shame, no.